So you know that feeling that you feel after you've been running for a while or after you are knee deep in your workout and you start feeling good? Or dare I say a little pain free? That feeling is actually induced by endorphins, which is your natural painkiller that your body creates in response to a lot of different things, but particularly exercise. And that is your body's very own, very legal form of morphine. Endorphin is in a combination of two words, endogenous and morphine. Endogenous means created within the body, meaning that endorphins are actually your body's natural pain-relieving, pain-blocking, euphoria-inducing chemical that you create all on your own. It's an evolutionary mechanism to allow you to push through discomfort. When you're under physical stress, like pushing through a hard set of squats or going for a long, difficult run, your pituitary gland actually releases endorphins, which bind to neuroreceptors in your brain that helps block pain and produce a euphoria-like feeling. This is where we get the name runner's high. Now, the interesting thing is if you look at an endorphin molecule versus a morphine molecule, they're very similar and even more, they bind to the exact same receptors in your brain. So they work almost identically. This is an opium poppy plant. This plant contains chemicals that bind to the same receptors that both endorphins and morphine do. Scientists actually discovered endorphins and how they worked in the human body by studying how opium poppy plants worked in the brain. So the next time you finish a brutal workout and you feel amazing, or you're laughing hard with your friends, or you're eating a new food, or sharing a really life-changing experience and you feel amazing, just know it's because your body is like a pharmacy and it creates its own drugs to help it feel good. And so that is a breakdown of endorphins, how they work, and what can make that happen for you and why you feel good.